Former Premier League referee Paul Alcock has passed away at the age of 64 after battling cancer. The famed official is known for taking a tumble after being pushed by Paolo Di Canio when he showed the then Sheffield Wednesday player a red card. Alcock passed away yesterday afternoon at Maidstone Hospital in Kent just two years after being diagnosed with a disease. The debilitating effects of cancer forced the X-Man in the middle's weight to plummet dramatically. He shed three stone in just 24 days while undergoing an intensive period of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Alcock will forever be remembered for the theatrical fall he took following Di Canio's push back in 1998. The Italian had been in English football for just one season following a 4.2 pound million from Celtic when he raised both hands to Alcock's chest. Still holding the red card, Alcock took several stumbling steps backward before eventually hitting the Hillsborough turf. A fuming Di Canio turned away and stormed off after being given his marching orders in the clash against Arsenal. Alcott told Sunsport chief football reporter Neil Ashton of his battle with cancer last year. He said, dealing with Di Canio was a dot I'll compared with this dot the first time they told me I had cancer I broke down in tears. The second time was exactly the same dot the third time I just expected it dot my life fell apart in September 2015. Then another team cut my left leg open, took the bottom of my fibula out, and constructed a jawbone from it, while my surgeon ate his lunch. Alcock was one of the country's leading referees and even had top names at all the big clubs noticing his presence. He said, the first time I walked down the corridor at Anfield I heard this dismissive Scottish voice say oh for f's sake, it's Alcock today. It was the king, Kenny Dalglish, Liverpool's manager. Alcock's close friend Bill Moss, 68, said he reached the pinnacle which any aspiring referee wants to reach by officiating in the Premier League. Even after he retired, which he had to do aged 47, he stuck with it and became a referee assessor. I went with him many times to matches, and it was obvious. How respected he was from people across the game. He was one of those faces that everyone knew, and everyone wanted a piece of him, 